Let's look at a projectile problem where there's a limiting factor. And that limiting factor is usually, does the object clear a wall or go over a go post or some other target area? And so we're not looking for the whole flight of the ball. We're just looking at where that projectile is at a certain location. So we've got one where a ball is kicked at 24 meters per second at an angle of 70 degrees. And we want to figure out if that ball that's 35 meters out from the goal or wall, and the wall is 3 meters tall, if that ball actually clears that wall. And so it's initially hit with a velocity of 24 meters per second at an angle of 70 degrees above the horizontal. And so we want to know if that makes it or not. It could hit the goal or the wall and fall back down, or it could make the entire flight. So we want to first break this comp into components. A horizontal component and a vertical component. And because we can look at these two motions independently of each other for some basic trigonometry. Velocity in the x would be equal to the velocity times the cosine of our angle. In this case, it will be 24 cosine of 70 degrees. And that gives us a velocity of 8.21 meters per second in the x direction. For the y direction, we can do the same process, except this time it's v sine theta, because we're looking for the vertical part. So that would be 24 sine of 70 degrees. And that gives me an initial vertical speed of 22.55 meters per second. Since we got it separated into the horizontal and vertical pieces, now we need to figure out what's going on. Normally we figure out the time of flight and the range, but in this case, we want to know what's happening 35 meters away. And so we need to figure out the time it takes for the ball to get there. The horizontal components is independent of the vertical components as long as there's no air resistance, anything to affect that. So the motion sideways is constant. So we can use Vx equals dx over t. Velocity in the x is 8.21. Distance is 35 meters. And we want to figure out the time it takes to get out to that location. Swap those out. we get that it takes 4.26 seconds for that ball to get to that goal post or wall, whatever you want to call it. Now we need to figure out how high that ball is when it gets to this time to see if it actually is above 3 meters or below 3 meters. So vertically, gravity is acting. So we have to look at this. So we want to actually figure that out. So don't put 3 in there. We actually want to see what that number is. So we're going to leave that as dy. The vertical velocity is 22.55. The time is 4.26 seconds plus 1 half negative 9.8 because gravity is acting down times 4.26 squared. So plug and chug on that. So 4.26 squared times 4.9 equals, make that negative, plus 
4.25 times 4.26 equals 7.14 meters. So that ball is going to be 7 meters above the ground. So that means it clears the wall by about 4.14 meters. So it easily clears the wall. Now, is that ball going up or coming back down when it reaches the wall? So we need to figure that out. A couple of ways we can do it. We can figure out the time it takes to actually go all the way up and come all the way back down and half that and anything before that time it's going up and anything after that time it's coming back down. But in this case we don't really know where, it, where it's at its peak. It could be here or it could be there. We don't know but there's another way we can do it. We can actually look at acceleration. So acceleration is Vf minus Vo over T. Our acceleration is negative 9.8. Vf we don't know. Our original velocity vertically, because we want to know if it's going up or down, is 22.55. And we can use the time of 4.26 seconds to solve this. So 4.26 times negative 9.8 is negative 41.45 equals VF minus 22.55. So 41.45 negative plus, because we're going to move that over, 22.55 gives me a final velocity of negative 18 point nine meters per second and so that negative sign means that the ball is actually coming back down so it had already reached its peak and is now coming back down when it reaches the wall all right thank you and uh, good luck with physics like share and subscribe and tune in again for some more physics goodbye